Easter morning and the kids are getting ready to come downstairs and see their Easter baskets. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is Easter Sunday and Jesus is the reason for the holiday and I am so super excited. I feel so grateful, so blessed to be here. So glad to be able to teach my kids about the resurrection and what this means and also to have a little bit of fun because they are babies. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this vlog today and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and let's get on into today's video. This one's yours, and this one's yours, and then those two are TJ's. Who is that? Elsa. Who else? My mom and Ola and Krista and Ben. Good job. You put that all together with Daddy's help? Yes. I didn't help you. Daddy didn't help you? You did it by yourself? Um, yes, I did. I oh. did. Well, that's awesome. Um, Mr. Man over there holding up his own yes. bottle. He's so grown up. How old are you? Three. Good job, you're three. Where are they? Where are they? What color is it? Okay, so we're back from our neighborhood walk and Nova got these in her Easter basket from my mom and she got, sorry, she got these ones too. And because we did plastic eggs, we didn't decorate eggs, but because we don't really have any activities planned for today, I'm gonna go ahead and do some eggs right now. Are you excited to color eggs? There's nothing in there. We've got to put the liquid in there. <laughs> this little guy's eating pineapples. Is that yummy? Baby led weaning is going so well. Is that yummy? Is that yummy? Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna get you all set up over there.
color is that? Pink. Pink's your favorite color? Yes. <laughs> yes. Pink is on my shirt. Pink. pink is on your shirt? Pink. Pink, pink, pink. Mmm, are we gonna eat these eggs this week? Yes. I totally failed on the colors. <laughs> Whoops. Mommy made a mistake. So I'm just doing a really simple dinner this year. We're just gonna do mashed potatoes. I got this whole ham steak here that I'm cooking up really quick and then I'll make my brown sugar butter glaze and then I am making broccoli. What are you making? Making dinner, honey. Ham. Ham? Yeah, Easter ham. Oh, I'm really Good. Literally just knocked my rosemary into my pot of potatoes, but, um, Probably eat some of there. Okay, so really funny. I have actually never cooked Easter dinner at my house because we always go to extended family. So it's kind of nice because I get to build my own traditions with my kids and like kind of start our own family thing. And I actually really like that part. But I am missing just spending time with like extended family, my parents, and stuff like that. So it's bittersweet being in quarantine, especially on like a holiday, like where we celebrate, you know, the joy of being together and like the resurrection. So that part has been kind of difficult, but overall today has just been super chill. Like me and Taylor just watched a movie while Nova napped and I worked on my cups and we just went outside and we're probably gonna go outside again. I mean like nothing crazy going on here. Hey guys, so I did not end the video yesterday. Um, it is the next day after Easter and I realized that I did not end the video. Um, and I wanted to just touch on this a little bit on my channel because I've never talked about it um, really on my channel before. I guess I talked a little bit about it on my like addiction story, but I've never specifically talked about my oldest son and he's getting older now and i really hope that he's able to find my videos and see my videos and i want this message to go to him um, because yesterday was easter obviously now i am set through the courts to be able to call him three times a week tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 4 30 my time and i make those facetime calls every single time I'm supposed to call, I keep a written log and his dad has barred me from being able to speak with him, period. He will not let me FaceTime anymore. He decided on his own that I recorded him somehow on a phone call. He won't give me any proof. He won't tell me anything. He just decided on his own that he was gonna go against the court order and not allow me to FaceTime my son anymore. So I haven't been able to FaceTime him in probably two months now or like a month and a half or something like that and uh, I've called my son from September to like January I was able to FaceTime him regularly we spoke over 40 times just on a regular schedule but then after that happened with my son's dad he just stopped allowing me to speak to him he wouldn't allow me to speak to him via FaceTime on his birthday in February and then on Easter yesterday um, I called and it was a Sunday so it wasn't like my typical day to call anyways and he would not let me FaceTime him um, but then my parents called and he was uh, he answered the phone and let them talk to him so I'm calling him I just lost it you guys I called his phone 13 times in a row like FaceTimed it back to back to back to back to back 
and apparently he said he tried to call like within this time frame but I didn't get any missed calls because you know how when you like call somebody back to back to back and it's like why wouldn't you just answer my call so I could talk to my child on Easter Sunday you know like it's bad enough on any regular day but just like on a holiday like it's really important for your child to feel like you actually like care about them and like his dad just is a very big control freak he's extremely manipulative uh, he wants to be in control of everything and he wants to keep me away from my child he wants to bar me from having any communication with him like to see him you know he's eight years old so like it's better to have video chats with him so that we can actually see each other and have that connection he refuses to let me communicate and build a relationship with my son that way on top of other things you know but that's just the huge thing and I just flipped my shit like I lost it I started screaming and crying and yelling at Taylor and at my mom because I was just so frustrated because I have been dealing with this for months now like just calling picking up the phone to FaceTime my son and getting denied FaceTiming him three four times a week and getting denied and not being able to see him or speak to him and you know, I keep a log of all of this stuff and I keep like a log of my uh, son's dad's like his text messages to me like saying like, oh, like you're not able to fit. You're not allowed to FaceTime my phone anymore. Um, I'm not letting you FaceTime him. I'm not going to let you see him like you can buy him a phone, an eight year old. He wants me to buy an eight year old an iPhone. Um, you're not. No, he just basically stopped. And so like I just. I wanted to add this onto my video as like a caveat because I hope that one day my son sees this and he knows, you know, mom loves you and mom tried and mom never gave up calling to speak to you and see you. Your dad, his dad barred me from allowing that to happen. His dad, I just have no more words. Um, it's extremely complicated to deal with a situation like this and it is so frustrating so I hate that this video had to end on such a somber note but this is just my life and I love being transparent here on my platform and in hopes that somebody else is experiencing something like this I just want you to know that you're not alone and I guess I just want to ask for some prayers in this also because I want to show up as a person with grace and dignity and I don't want to like retaliate emotionally, especially like during the times when I have my child, you know, I, the thoughts ran across my mind like, oh, yep, when I have him, I'm not letting you speak to him. I'm not letting him use my phone. You better send him with a phone. But at the end of the day, it's like, I'm not like that. I don't want to show up in the world like that. I will never be an evil, manipulative, conniving, virulent person like he is, you know? Um, He's just such a bitter person and I don't want to show up that way. So I guess just prayers for me that I handle this situation properly and prayers for my son because ultimately the only person that this hurts is him, you know, and it, and it sucks that it has to be this way. And, you know, I see my other two kids, like they get such good, like they have, they live such amazing lives. And I know that my son is just living like, I don't even know over there with his dad, like, so. Yeah, but I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.